Are you ready for the easiest self-help advice in the world? Last week, I almost drowned in all of the online conversation about back to routines, back to school, meal plan, financial plan, be grateful, be connected to people, but sometimes disconnected from technology. Feel all your feelings. And here are 10 ways you could be procrastinating less and doing more. Don't forget how important sleep is. My answer to that is no thank you. The volume of conversation out there about self-help is one of the biggest obstacles to self-help these days. Here's the thing, reading about self-help rarely translates into action. Instead, it translates into the added pressure of one more thing that you think that you should be doing. And self-help is not called self-added pressure for a reason. Consider this, and this is all rooted in science. The people who are out there thrilled with their life, they're energized, engaged, the people who make it look easy, okay? They're not out there prioritizing being really good and being really responsible and efficient. And this doesn't mean that they're being bad and reckless, but what it means is they've decided what matters to them, what they want the most, and that's where they're putting in their efforts. If you're not using that as a starting point, reading self-help is just going to bring about added pressure. Instead, just say no thank you. I really don't want you to waste time trying to have the right habits or just chasing efficiency. I've been there. I'm in the business of helping you live a life you're thrilled with, helping you get out of your own head so that you can create the life that you really want, even if you aren't sure exactly what that looks like yet. So let's get to the good part. Get in touch if that's what you want this year too.